Hey there everyone, I'm Talha and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a purchase order in Google Sheets. A purchase order is an important document during trade transactions and you may need to create a purchase order before you can issue it to your client. In this video we're going to see how you can create a purchase order that is very easy to use and does the job for you. First of all, you're going to select the purchase order template from the Google Sheets template gallery. You can also create your own purchase order template if this one doesn't fit your needs. After that, you're going to create various sheets to store the different data required to create this purchase order. Firstly, the vendor sheet to store the vendor information, then the items sheet to store the item information and a PO logs sheet to log each purchase order and a setting sheet to store the purchase order number. After you've created these important sheets, you can go ahead and create the POS sheet. For this sheet, you're going to create rows such as vendor, invoice, ship date, and so on to store different data that is going to be added to the invoice before you can print the purchase order. After you've added all of these rows right here and created this table right here, you can go ahead and add a drop down right here from which you can select your vendors easily. You can also add a drop down for the items so you can select the items easily. First, let's go ahead and see how the vendors dropdown is created. First, apply to range POS B6, meaning the sheet POS and the cell B6. The criteria will be dropped down from a range and the range will be from the vendor sheet cell A2 to A100. Click on done and we're good to go. Next, we're going to do a similar thing for the items drop down and instead of vendors, this is going to be the item sheet and cell A2 to A100. Once we've created the drop downs, we can go ahead and create three different buttons that will automate the process of creating the purchase order, clearing any existing information from the invoice and adding items to the invoice. For that we're going to go ahead to insert, drawing and then shapes. From here we're going to select bevel and then save and close. Once you've added the first shape you're going to go ahead and add two more shapes. Head over to insert again, drawing, and then select bevel. Draw a similar shape, and then click on save and close, or press enter. Head over to insert one last time and then add our last shape. Once we've added all three shapes, we're going to add some text to these shapes to label them. We can do that by clicking on these three dots and then edit. Right here we're going to write create purchase order and then for our second one we're going to write
clear and make sure it's all in bold we're going to center the text and then save and close and for the last one we're going to write add items Once we've done that, we're going to center the text and then save our shape. Once we've saved all our shapes, we're going to go ahead and click on extensions and then go to app script. The reason we're going to app script is we're going to have to assign a script to each of these shapes or buttons that will carry out the tasks that we want them to carry out. For example, the create PO button will create the purchase order. The clear button will clear the invoice of any previously entered data and the add item button will add any items that we have selected over here to the invoice right here. So, Let's go ahead to Google Apps Script and here we have pasted this script right here. You can find this script on our website spreadsheetboy.com and once you have the script you can paste it into your sheet and then save and then head back to your sheet. Once you're in the sheet you're going to click on these buttons right here and then assign a script. For this one right here the script is create purchase order, create PO, and for this one, the script is clear invoice, just like this, and for this one, the script is add item. Like this add and then item once we've assigned the relevant scripts we're going to click on the first button right here clear to clear our invoice of any previously entered data it's going to request authorization and we're going to click on continue select your account Click on advanced and go to purchase order. Then click on allow and authorization successful. Now we can click on clear and you'll see that it has cleared all other data from this table right here and from our invoice we're going to add it's going to add the data once we create the PO so we're going to select the vendor as Corey Smith we're going to add an invoice number such as one two three four a ship date a ship via value we're going to select UPS and a random shipping and handling fee next we're going to select our first item and add the value for the quantities and then we're going to click on add item once we click on add item we can see that the item have been added next we're going to click on create po You'll see right here that the items have been added to the invoice over here. Then you can click on the print button right here and then 
select your requirements and then print the purchase order and that's how you create a purchase order in google sheets i hope this video was useful to you please leave a like and subscribe